So today we're going to be talking about 3D vectors. So 3D vectors are a lot like 2D vectors, except they have one additional component. Whereas 2D vectors had uh, components that pointed in the x and the y direction, um, now we're also going to be working with the z direction. So to, to show you what that looks like, um, and this is going to be a little weird to draw, uh, drawing in 3D is always something I struggle with. So we have uh, a right-handed coordinate system. You don't have to worry about what that means right now. We'll talk about it later. Uh, so basically, the two most common uh, labeling of axes is to either call uh, the one down here that kind of points out the x, then call this the y, and call this the z. Okay. The other common direction uh, is to call this the z, and call this the x, and this the y. Um, those are the, the ones you'll see the most. Uh, you should be comfortable working with, with either one. Um, so now... I need to, guess I need to redraw that. Okay, uh, we'll just stick with this for right now. So I'll say that that's x, that's y, and this is z up here. So let's say I want to graph uh, some vector. I want to draw the vector uh, three i hat plus five j hat uh, plus seven k hat. Okay. Uh, to do that. I'm going to kind of draw a three-dimensional cube to help give it a feel of, of three-dimensionality and to kind of anchor where my vector is. So I know that uh, along the x direction, I should have three ticks. So these ticks, I'm going to kind of draw parallel to the y-axis. So one, two, three. Along the y-axis, I'm going to have five ticks, and that should be parallel to the x. I'm going to have one, two, three, four, and I try to space them roughly equally, but obviously it's not going to be perfect. And then z, z should uh, be nice and parallel to the y. So we're going to have 7, 1, 2, ooh, that's a little close, I think. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yeah, these definitely are further apart. That's okay. So once we have those, those kind of key points, we want to try to draw the cube and ma making sure that we draw lines that are parallel to uh, the axis that we want. The other axis. So this is kind of what I would expect this to look like. Um, so we're going to go out here and then we're going to go up here um, and then we're going to go. So here, this, this one's a little tricky. We want to go down like this and this one's going to go up like this. There. And this one's going to go up. Uh, this is going to go this way, this is going to be parallel that way, so this isn't going to be perfect, but, uh, you know, it's not terrible. So that means then what we're going to do is our vector is going to go from here to here. So I'm going to point my vector like this, give it a little rounded arrow, and there you go. Maybe maybe that looks 3D, maybe it doesn't. But that's the idea of a, of a 3D vector, right? Is Basically, it points along here, uh, and it's it's in all three dimensions. So we're basically working in three space now, as opposed to just two space. You find the magnitude. If I want to find the magnitude of my vector v, you find it the same way you do before, where you take the square the square root of the sum of the squares of the components. So I would do square root of three squared plus five squared plus forty nine squared. Sorry, plus seven squared. Um, and then we we take that square root there. Uh, you should get, so you're going to have 9 plus 25 plus 49. Uh, and this should be equal around 9.11. Okay, So that would be the length of, of this vector here. Okay, So there's some other things that we're going to want to do with, with vectors. Let's say I want to find a displacement vector between two points. So I'm going to say I have point A, which is... 8, 2, 13, and point B, which is going to be uh, 3, 10, 4. So I want the uh, displacement vector between these two vectors. So we get these just like we would in 2D, where you're going to say that the displacement vector AB is simply going to be equal to uh, the vector that goes to B minus the vector that points to A. Um, so we do that. And we get a vector that is negative 5, 8, and negative 9. 
And then if we want the magnitude of vector AB, uh, we can calculate that as well, right? That's just going to be the square root of, we're going to have 25 plus 64 plus 81. So that'll be the square root of 170, which is going to be around uh, 13.0384. Okay. So now let's say, though, that I want to find a position vector that points uh, and, and, and goes to a point 70% of the way from A to B. So if I kind of draw a diagram of this, right, I have point A here, I have point B here, uh, and I want to draw a vector that goes 70% of the way between this. So that point's like this, right? So this, I know, is vector A. And we already said this here is vector AB, is what we calculated over here, right, this thing. And then this would be vector B. And so what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to figure out, OK, what is uh, this segment, which is going to be 0 0.7 AB, right? And we want to add it to A. Because remember, when we add vectors graphically, uh, you can just connect them, right? So I go vector A, vector 0.7 AB. And then my resultant vector v, which is what I'm looking for, is going to go from tail to tip. So here like this. And that'll be the vector that I want. So to figure out what this vector is going to be, I'm going to do 0 0.7 times vector ab plus vector a. So that's going to give me 0 0.7 times negative 5, 8, negative 9, plus 8, 2, 13. Uh, and when I do that out, I'm going to end up with 4.5, 7.6, and 6.7. Okay, and that would be my answer. So that's your, your basic introduction there to 3D vectors. Um, it will talk more uh, coming up about uh, things that you can do with them, operations you could do with them um, that we didn't do when we did 2D vectors.